Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brydridgen here, and today I'm playing some more Space Engineers, and in today's video, I'm doing something really quick and really short, because I have been quite tired lately after finishing uh, the third episode of Gemini Adrift, which was one of my biggest progress, uh, projects up until this date. So, the other day I did a video on a gravity rails cannon sort of thing, where I actually had this thing sliding back and forth, and it would shoot rounds out as it slides, uh, slides back. And with that, I only had one round firing, and you guys said that was quite, quite cool, quite interesting. You guys can see over there that I actually had my uh, rail system that I was trying to work on that I never got to work. I did a video on this, actually, and even since then, like, uh, before I started recording, I was working on this in another world. And yet again, after about an hour or two, I haven't managed to get this to work at all. And so I've given up on that, basically. And to kind of relieve myself the stress of not getting anything to work, I've worked on this here a little bit more. And what I what I mean by I've worked on this is that I've actually added a few more rounds to the back of this. I haven't done anything revolutionary. It's just that I wanted to see if this thing was actually capable of firing more than one round. And that, that's that's kind of like the beauty of having the whole gravity sliding along here, is that I can shoot the rounds off whenever I want, however fast I want. So that you have the first round, you have the second round, you'll have the third round. And at the end we'll have the fourth round here. These all have their own uh, stone inside of it, so they should launch one by one. The only thing I can see being a problem is that occasionally, whenever I launch the first round, uh, it gets stuck and it blows up around about here. And I don't know why, I've checked everything, everything's smooth, there's no bumps, there's no uh, oddities or anything. So what I've done to the front of the round here, uh, at least in the parts that actually collide, I've kind of just removed all the sharp edges, so hopefully it should be smooth. I mean, I have, I've considered... I, well, actually, that's why I can't do that, because of the actual landing gears connected to it in some way. So I really can't improve the first round at all. So if it blows up, I'll just continue, and I'll, sh I'll fire the extra few rounds uh, afterwards as well. So let me get into the top here. I've actually put the cockpit on the top, because it's a lot easier. I'll get in, and I will release the landing gear, so I don't actually cause the thing to move like I've done several times before. And I'll start flying backwards very, very slowly until I... well, not very slowly. I'll fly backwards until the first round is released, and then... Actually, what if I go... I was going to say, I can go maybe a little bit slower so that the round itself is only just pulled slightly out. I can't get the best camera angle, and I apologize for that. It's just this is such a finicky uh, system to be working with that getting any decent camera angle is near impossible. So there we go. I can see this thing. I don't think I'm even close to it yet. You'll, you'll know because the world will start getting really laggy as I start to pull on it. I can't get a camera angle on this. I apologize. Oh, there we go. Come on. F come flying out. Without blowing up things. Please. Please, please, please. Come on. There you go. Yes, it comes. That was a successful launch. And that should hit the ship. Should hit the ship. And kaboom. So, w what you can do at this stage is... You do one of two things. You can lock this down, then get someone actually on the cannon itself to lock down the rounds, and you can rotate and aim where you, wherever you want. But let's just do this quickly, and let's fly back here, and let's shoot, shoot off the next next few rounds. So here you'll see the round at the back there get pulled along basically now. Hopefully these don't collide either. And did that launch out? I'm getting like 10 FPS. My FPS is really slowing down here. So let's uh let's launch this one. Okay, there we go. I managed to stabilize it, I think because the cannon itself started drifting forwards. Okay, so that's what I can do. Uh, whenever you fire a round, the cannon itself starts flying forwards as well. So what you want to do is you just want to engage your locks on the actual slider thing here, and that should slow. Uh, that should actually stop the thing, and then I can release and fly back even further. I'll get out and actually go with this round. So you guys can see that clearly this thing... Did that already launch? Oh wow, it must have already launched out of there. Are you coming? Or has it already come? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it must have got stuck, okay. As I said, uh, I think that, no, actually, I think that last round was a bit buggy as it was. Oh, no. <laughs> it got stuck. It must have got stuck at some point. Aw, the poor thing that tried. Actually, no, it was the back of it that blew up, not the front. So it must not have been a collision thing. It must have just been a, a random bug that happened. Like I said, the back shouldn't explode. It should be, if anything, the front should explode on impact or one of the sides. But I highly doubt that the 
uh, the back would explode from touching something. As you guys can see here, all the rails are now loose and all over the place. But we did manage to successfully launch at least three rounds, uh, minus that odd explosion at the back. I probably should have watched that as I was launching it. I think it may have gotten stuck at some point, but uh, from three rounds, we managed to obliterate the majority of the ship here. Whoa, whoa, wait up. FPS is going really low. Oh no, I'm at four. What's happening? Something's happening over here and I think it's lagging me out, so I'm going to try and fly over here at three FPS to try and stop whatever this is. No. Yes, delete. Oh, thank god. Okay, there we go. I managed to clean up. I, something about that thing there was actually slowing me down completely. We're good now. We're good. <laughs> Let me go back and show you the damage. Uh, what's, it, what's this part of the cans actually flying towards the ship? So hopefully I'll be able to get there in time beforehand. Eh, it shouldn't matter too much. So as you guys can see, clearly the front part of the ship has been wiped out. And I think a few of the rounds never even actually hit the thing because the first two I think were actually enough to destroy most of it. Here you come, cannon. Come. Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll leave this out. I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys what it was like firing multiple rounds from that because that was actually requested. And now I'm probably going to go back to sleep because I still haven't been feeling all too well. Especially after doing that project, I've just been exhausted and uh, whatnot. So I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this little segment. And I will see you guys next time.